once was. Demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. Be quiet. What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Designated location! Lethal object detected. The subject will submit all weapons for further screening. Disarm Civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. If you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No, he's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. 
It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along, and no more dawdling. This way now. Oh, you're here at last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then, there's the North Wing. The Ink Demon got in there a while ago, and ever since then, we had to keep the North Wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days. And they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance and you'll be just fine. It's not very often I have guests to look after. Especially one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. Here we are. Best room in the house. You should see where I sleep. Ugh. <laughs> but this room... Oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you... very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although... I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But... Wilson will keep trying. And... do you... Trust, Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But, Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his... mother? Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, uh, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up.
Gilson. What's a Gilson? So, I'm looking for a fish? There's gotta be one here somewhere. That's a fish. Ugh, he's too fast. little stinker. <clears throat> uh, hello. I, uh, I forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. Just three sips of water. One. Two.
Three. your special chair. Then, I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong. You fry. Let's begin. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves to play for company of the bear. The puppet fox? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. On tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Mm. 
were. Why does this feel so familiar? <laughs> Are you all right, Audrey? Alice, I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. He's my protector. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Allison? It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. Wilson, I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the Ink Demon. For good. And... I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this?
This music box could make a good distraction if I can fix it. That's all the pieces for the music box.
Now I just need to find a good place to put it. goes nothing. There you are, thank goodness. Wilson's waiting for you downstairs in the laboratory when you're ready. But first, can I get your help with something? Normally, I wouldn't ask this of a guest, but oh, with all that's happening, I can't sneak out and get things like I usually do. Do you think you could pop round to the farmer's market back in town and find me a few ingredients? We're running quite low in the kitchen. And I was hoping we could all celebrate tonight with a lovely supper. Won't take but a moment if you go by train. Up to you. <laughs> no pressure.
you for coming all this way. The Ink Demon is a formidable foe. To truly destroy such a monster, he must be dethroned, humiliated. For months now, I've been working on something that will do exactly that. Cast out the demon, and put a new deity in his place. Stronger, more powerful, and controllable. Together, we just need to unleash our ultimate weapon. Come, let me show you my creation. Isn't he beautiful? Simple but elegant. A treasure. Powerful beyond anyone. The Ink Demon will fall. And we can have peace at last. It could work, but it sounds risky. How will we control him? We don't want to repeat Joey's mistake. No, we don't. All the factors must be perfect. The right design, the right science, and the right soul. Right. At last your purpose is revealed, Audrey. This is why you're here. With your soul inside him, my creation will live forever. Stay away from me. You're insane. Come now, Audrey. Part of you knew this was your path. Leave yourself behind and ascend. I thought you said we needed to save your father. I thought you had a plan to send me home, to make everything right. I lied. My father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan Arch, owner of Archgate, industrial genius, business tycoon. For years, I've lived in his reaching shadow. He always had time for the grand creatives of the world, the doers, as he called them. He knew only the best, the biggest thinkers. How could his lowly son ever hope to compete with that? But now, thanks to you, I can. No need to struggle. My signal prevents you from using those devilish powers of yours. And more importantly, keeps the Ink Demon from getting in. It's time to die, Audrey. And live again as a god. No. Not this time. I decided to go for a walk this morning. Took a little stroll down to the park. Enjoyed the warm sun for a while. Found a quiet bench. Even grabbed a hot dog. It's been ages since I've done that. Tessa would kill me if she knew I've been off my diet. When I got back to the office, I stopped by the information department and said hello to the troops. You my gosh. It's from getting the younger every channel. day. Either that or I'm oh. just getting older. It's time to ask the question.
there's always a choice. I know you're in there. Deep behind that evil face. Inside somewhere is my little girl. My Audrey. My greatest creation. I'm scared. I, I don't know what's happening. The past doesn't define you. Nor the present. In the end, all those years ago, Joey Drew finally succeeded. He created life. But Audrey, you're so much more than that. You were his family. His daughter. My daughter. And I love you so very much. Be quiet. Remember who you are, Audrey. Remember. Your words are wasted. The failure of Joey Drew. Dies. I know you're in there. You don't have to be this anymore. It's never too late. Just a fence when a dream. It's not enough! You have to have... heart. No! The future is sealed. What do you think you're doing? I'm starting over. This is the end.
to the Lord of the Dark Puddles. It's time to believe. Need some help? Henry, you came! Some battles are worth fighting for, even a million times. Come on, I found a projector up ahead. Run for it! This man is mad, and the second will Well then, we'll just have to do better next time. My father once told me that just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. And here, at the very beginning, there's a choice to make. My father's cartoon world was now mine. To rule, to watch over, and to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind. Born of ink, but living in flesh. Joey's world is escaping into ours. So, what's next? Who can really say?